In this tutorial, we're going to go over adding subtitles to your Doodly videos. Subtitles are useful for a variety of purposes, which we'll go over today. One of the best ways to teach you this is to show it to you in action, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and hit preview, and you'll see the subtitles. So why add subtitles to your videos? A lot of people watch videos with the sound off. I know I do. Sometimes it's because I don't want to disturb those around me. I also really like to read rather than listen to content. For others, it's a practical matter as maybe they're deaf or hard of hearing. Another reason you might want to add subtitles to your video could be to add a translation. For example, maybe you have both an English speaking and a Spanish speaking audience. I often add notes in the subtitle section using it as a cheat sheet. When I do, I turn off the subtitles for that particular scene. Then I can come back and read my notes at any time. Now you'll notice that I also was using the subtitles as a prompt. I did a voiceover while you guys were watching this preview, right? So what you can do is even if you have no intentions of displaying the subtitles to your audience, you can use them for your own internal purposes to help prompt you record a voiceover. So I'll show you how I, I would do that. Okay, so I would go over here to the beginning and then I would click the little plus sign by my voiceover tool here and begin. Why add subtitles to your videos? A lot of people watch videos with the sound off. I know I do. Sometimes it's because I don't want to disturb those around me. I'll go ahead and stop. But there we have it. Now I've got a voiceover track and I didn't have to deal with papers, you know, and start and stop and figure out what I had to say because it was like a teleprompter. It was telling me exactly what I needed to say. So next, how do we get these subtitles in here? How do we control them? So there's two ways. Let's start with the video settings because this is where you can turn your subtitles on and off for the entire video. So let's say I just used them for doing a voiceover. I would wanna turn it off. And now if I hit the preview button, so you'll see the subtitles are gone. So that's how you turn them on and off for the entire video. Let's go ahead and turn them back on click apply and let's go into scene settings. Maybe I don't want the subtitles to appear. Maybe I just want them to read the text that's on the screen and that'll be fine. So if I go to scene settings, I simply turn them off and that only affects that scene. If I go to my next scene, you'll see the subtitle is still on. Now, as you recall, the subtitles had a black background and it was semi-transparent and white text. We can change that here. So if we wanted to change to, let's go with a like a red. So a red background, and then let's make it a little bit lighter by changing the opacity. Let's go to 50%. And I think probably the white is fine, but let's say we want it a little larger. So we can change the font size. Let's click apply. And now if we preview the scene, you'll see that the look of the subtitles has changed accordingly. Let's go back into scene settings. This is just a very basic text box. So you can type in new text. You can delete the text and you can copy and paste the text in. And finally, the last thing I wanted to talk about is if you have a scene that has a lot of text on it in the subtitle, like I think this last scene that I had here, let's, let's take a preview of it again. It had quite a bit, you know, the, I don't think you want your subtitles to take that much real estate on your scene. So what you can do is you can split it into several scenes and split the subtitle across those scenes. So let me show you how to do that. I had three sentences there, so I'm going to duplicate this three times. So I'm just going to right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate. Now, of course, this is a long scene and it duplicated everything. And I certainly don't want, you know, 45 seconds of it. So I need to make some adjustments. This is the first scene here, right? So this is when it draws on and Currently, I have the scene settings 14 seconds, which is way too long for that first scene. 
So I'm gonna go just back to the default of, five, of 0.5 seconds, so half a second. And then I'm gonna change my subtitle here. I want the first sentence, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna delete those other two and I'm gonna hit apply. So now it's much shorter and it just has that first sentence. Now I'm gonna go to my second scene and I have to make some changes. It's already drawn on, right? So I don't want it to draw on again. So I'm gonna say zero and zero for the duration. And again, scene settings, I wanna change this to 0.5 seconds. Well, I don't know how long I want it to be actually because we need to have enough time for the person to read the text. So I'm gonna adjust that in a second. I wanna get rid of the first sentence because we're on the second scene here, right? And then I wanna get rid of the last sentence. So how long is it gonna take for the voice to read this one? I'd say, let's give it three seconds. And we'll click apply. So now we have a three second scene there. And then this one, again, we don't want it drawing on the stuff again. We just want a zero duration and a zero duration here. Scene settings, since it's the last scene of my video, I do want it to be on there a long time. I think 14 seconds, probably overkill, but it'll be fine for now. And we wanna get rid of sentence one and sentence two and just have this one. Okay, let's just make this 10 seconds and we're going to hit apply. Okay, I need to change the transition as well. I always forget that and I shouldn't. So let's go back to scene one, scene settings. Right here, go to none. Okay, exit animation, none. Click apply. Same on the second one. Scene settings, exit animation, none. Apply. Preview once again and we'll jump ahead. Here comes our second one. When I do, I turn subtitles off for that particular scene individually. Then I can come back and read my notes at any time. So that's how you can deal with a single scene that has a big chunk of text that takes up just too much real estate on the video screen. Simply duplicate, make your adjustments, and it should be good to go. And that's the basics of using subtitles in Doodly. Thanks for watching.